Health and Wellness Center, this is Debbie, can I help you? Like the location, the name has been changed and will soon change again. DSU's Health and Wellness Center, soon to be DSU Health Center, is now located at the old Dixie Clothing Store on 100 South. The new director, Dylan Matsumori, is the first full-time employee of the new health center. Matsumori, a professional psychologist, is hoping the new location will help with awareness of services offered on campus. Um, we service students, faculty, and staff. Uh, we're here to serve everybody who is part of Dixie State to help them out with whatever may be going on, uh, mental health, medical health. Matsumori said the new location is prime for campus access. It sits kitty corner from the campus suite dorms and a busy corner that many students cross. He gave a tour inside the newly remodeled building, which is much larger than the old one. The nice thing about this is that it's big enough that if we want to do off-hour times to do presentations and things like that, we can do outreach here in the center. So that's kind of fun for uh, being able to use it for multiple things. So the mental health side here and then the medical side on that side. So there's two different entrances for two different purposes. One of the biggest advantages is that the new health center has three therapy rooms where those needing some counseling services can feel comfortable expressing their feelings. If we do couples counseling as well, the couples can come in and things like that. Um, we haven't been doing couples counseling in the recent history, but that's something that I'd like to move into as well. Um, I think a lot of students have relationship things going on that they'd like to work on. So. It also houses three examination rooms and a registered nurse to assist with blood tests or cultures for acute care needs. If you have strep throat, we can take care of that. Mono, um, if you think you have an STI, which is a sexually transmitted infection, not a disease, we can take care of that for you too. Uh, women who need pap tests, we have all kinds, anything that you need that an Instacare clinic can take care of, we can do that here for you for a lot less. Uh, for colds, flus, strep throat, mono, all these kind of things that students will regularly encounter, we have services to help them with all these different things. Depression and anxiety, anxiety and depression depends on the location, but those are the two things much higher than anything else that why people are coming in for therapy. So, While the number of students served in the past is unknown, Matsumori said he will be creating a database to find out more about the needs of students. In the meantime, staffing is still part-time for therapy and preventative health. We currently employ um, a couple nurse practitioners and also a nurse, and then we have um, a couple uh, uh, therapists. So uh, we have a substance abuse counselor and then we have a uh, licensed social worker. So that's what we have currently. Um, we're hoping to expand services on both sides of medical and mental health. But Matsumori hopes to expand those services as the campus grows. Student services fees will also go up next semester to help operate the new health center. As a dean of students, I need to keep the students well and keep them in class so they can be successful and accomplish their dreams and goals and graduate and get the job that they want and have the life they want and that's difficult to do if they're not physically and mentally well. And so we just run on a break-even basis. We're heavily supplemented and supported by student fees for which we're grateful. Starting in, in uh, 20, 2017, this next and, uh, school year, um, it'll be going to 1550. So that's a $4 increase. Matsumori is also hoping to do some fundraising on their own and even look into the possibility of accepting insurance. And so that's something that we're really working towards. Um, not guaranteed that we're going to do it, but that's something I'm really looking at as a director is, as a way to move forward is, is because there needs to be another source of income. Uh, another thing is, is looking into grants and, and um, also donations is another thing that we haven't had an opportunity to pursue very much because, again, we've been such a small center, there's been nobody full-time to work on these things. Group counseling is also available on site and students are encouraged to stop by any time or make an appointment when the health center is open. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.